Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll worry about that later. So, basic transport belt is one iron plate and one gear. And to make the gear, we need to have there an iron rod. That makes two gears. And to make the iron rod, right, so yeah, we just need a string of factory, basically. So if we go to you right there, we will run that one down this way. I'm keeping that away from here because then we can expand that out a bit more later, should we so desire. So I'll bring that all the way down over to here somewhere like that. And it's probably all right. That will allow me to double that up again. Without having to move it elsewhere. We'll probably end up having to move it elsewhere eventually. But we'll bring this down just a little bit further like that. And then we can go into here. So I want to put one, two of these down. And we will start off by making the iron rods. So we need to go to metallurgy casting in there and do it like this. And then that one goes one and two, and that goes one and two, like that. We then go into the next factory, which will go out this way, and you are going to go right here. Iron rod It's going to go to the gear. Mm. That needs a gear. That needs basic transport belts that will also need a gear and a bit of wood and some copper cable just to confuse the issue uh these are more difficult these are these are very simple it's very easy to make these we need the tin plates and we need gears we need basic transport belts so i need gears for all of it right in which case we'll we'll make the gears on here but i won't direct feed the gears into anything so i'll make gears like this now, if we have a look at the construction time, that is 0 0.5 seconds of crafting time to make one iron rod. And then in here, one second crafting time to make two of them. So we're probably all right with a, a straight feed like that without doing anything too different. Uh, there are better ratios, I have absolutely no doubt. And then from there, I'm going to put a belt coming out. You know what, I'm going to increase this a bit more. I'm going to do it like that so that I've got three lines of production on this. Just because I think that is going to be better. So I'll put that one in there and I'll put that one in there. And then we'll take some power. We will put a power line there, there and there. We will put a power line there, there and there as well. And that will put gear wheels out onto this line over here. We'll keep them running on one side of the line. We won't do anything different to that. Next, I need to go to the actual logistics bit over here. So I need an iron plate and an iron gear to make that one. That's straightforward. There I need stone and wood. This one I need wood and copper cable. And then both of them will need a belt. No, that just needs the basic transport belts. That needs basic transport belts and gears. Now they've, they've got to be difficult, haven't they? Um... And then you need extra bits to upgrade, and you need extra bits to upgrade, and you're relatively straightforward, just lots of gears. Gears, we, we, we need loads of gears. Every, everything needs gears. I might just bring that down a little bit further there. I'll bring it back this way. That one can run down to here like this, and kind of thinking that I'll do it like that. So that that goes in onto one side. I have gears and have iron plates. So then I can run that down here like this. And we put a factory in one, two, three, and four like that. I will go into this one and I will do basic transport belts like that. I'll put an inserter into each of these and then I will put an outfeed inserter onto each of these as well. And I will put that onto... Oops, no, I don't want to go... Yeah, actually, I will. I will go that way. I'll bring that one up there like that so that we can then go and use those a little bit later. 
These don't need iron plates. No and no. And they don't need iron plates either. They will need tin plates. So we're going to have to sort of separate that out a little bit. And then the basic other items. So this one down here can just be removed a second. And then I can put a splitter. Actually, I'll put that one up there. We'll drop a splitter down here, and I will filter out the, not the blocks. It is a bit that confuses me, is the angel's blocks have got the picture of the gear wheel on it, and the gear wheel is over here. That's why it's always so confusing and confuddling for me. And that one's going to go out over here. Let me remove that plate from there, and you're going to go like that. Gear wheels are already on the correct side. Those completed ones will be put onto the opposite side. So if I go one there and one down there and one there and one in there, I am now making belts. Excellent. Right. That is absolutely spot on perfect. I am making some belts. Now all I need to do is start doing the other bits. Now this is where it gets a little bit more complex. I've got to bring that down, which I need. I need the timber on the basic splitter, and I need the stone on the underground belt. So I, ne I need both of those being brought down. So we'll, we'll bring that line down for a minute. I'm going to send it out over this way, and we will underground it over to here. And then we will bring it down like this. I'm going to put that right down close like that and then bring it across the top over this side. You're going to run straight down there like that and that is where you're going to stop. So next we're going to take you and you're going to run down this way like that so that you'll take those materials on out and they can go on they they can basically they can go out and they can be used for other things in a little while this one is going to come in this way like this it's going to turn and it's going to run down to that point right there and it's going to go no further than that i am going to put a splitter uh I'm going to put a splitter right there, and I'm going to jump in here, and I'm going to hurry up if I can and get stone on there. Stone is going to filter out. It's not going to go any further, and the wood is going to go on down a little bit further, because I'm not going to need it anymore on here. That's, that's as far as we're going to need to go with the timber on that one. But I have got to get the copper cables over here, and I'm not quite sure where I'm going to get those from, but we'll deal with that in a minute. So what I want to do next is, if I drop that one down there, this one is going to make basic underground belts. It doesn't need to do anything other than basic underground belts. So we will put one, two inserters, and we'll put an inserter there, and then we'll go with an iron chest, and we'll put that one down there. We will put you and you in here. That one is going to need to be pick up drop off like that. That's going to flop those two in. There we go. Right. Basic underground belts are going to be built and then they're going to be put into there. I don't need this to be very long either. That can disappear from there. But what i got to do is I've got to get copper cable over to here. That's going to be the slightly more complex part. So we got to, this is where we start working our spaghetti game again. Let's go and have a look through our existing spaghetti and find the nearest supply of cables, which would be that bit right there. Now, how are they getting into here? I'm bringing them up from down there. Would it be better if I ran that along the bottom and brought it up this way? That might better actually i could bring that one up and i could bring it sort of right up to the front of there it's either that or i've got to put it feed it along over this way what ooh, what, what have i got traveling this way that's the thing with spaghetti if you can make use of existing belts and you've got like that one there i'm not doing anything with that belt i'm only half i'm only using half of that belt and then it gets to this point and that's where we're using the other part of it. But I can then come off of there. 
And we can jump out, we can come down here, get through, and come that right. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna make use of some of this. We'll run down here, like this, and I don't quite have enough room to do it there, so we'll do it down under here. So I want to put that one in there like that. Start with, you're going to go boom, like that. And this one is going to have a filter on it, and I'm going to filter out the cellulose fiber there, because I know where that one is. Uh, you're going to go on the right-hand side like that, so the copper cable is going to come out of here. Then I'm going to put an underground belt there, an underground belt there, one there, and one up there. That is going to go into the side over here, and that is going to start filtering that out. Then we can run, and we can follow this line all the way up through to here, on the way through, and it's there that I need to filter this one out. So we jump to this point right here, and I drop that in. And that's where I need to filter out the copper cable, which will be under metallurgy casting. I filter it from here like that, and I'll pick that bit up so that it's out of the way. Uh, I got some construction components there. Am I using those in here? No. I think I used them over on there. All right, we've finished the electronics bit. So let's do advanced copper smelting. That's going to be something that we'll be using later. We'll just keep those going. With those different researches, someone was asking me, Jempy, I think it was, um, how do I know which one to go for? Basically, just for the most part, to start off with, I go for the bits that I know that I'm going to want to use. Right? That's what we've done to start with. I know that I want the basic logistics. I know for a fact that we wanted to upgrade and get those. Uh, the advanced logistics faster belts, I know I wanted that. I know I wanted the crawler construction robot. So pick something that you want, work towards it. You don't have to do it in a set way. If I decide, well, actually, what I really want is that armor crafting three right there. I don't want anything else. I want that one. Work your way back up your list and just do research on those items. Only research those items until you've gotten all the way down the list and you've built your armor crafting three. Everything else is a sideline that doesn't matter. You just follow that line down through. Like automation two is gonna be one that we're gonna want sooner rather than later is faster factory units. That's gonna be brilliant. In order to get that, I've got most of it already. Right? I need those, and I'm able to research everything down to construction components too. That's going to slow us down. No? I can do that as well. I got basic data cores. So I can, if I choose to, can simply just work towards automation 2, which is going to allow me assembling machine 2 right there. Uh, that will, it basically is going to unlock faster factories. The way that I, I so that's all I'm going to do. So all I then got to do is go back up through. I want advanced iron smelting. I'm going to need alloy processing, electronics, uh, advanced steel, construction components, and then down I get an automation too. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything special. I'm not doing anything complicated with it. I'm not memorizing hundreds and hundreds of routes. I'm simply just using the diagrams to select what I think is most useful. I want landfill. Right, but that's actually quite a lot of different items. And if you look, the different researches that we need to be able to do to get there, it's going to take a minute. We're going to have to un, well, not unlock, we're going to start building the energy data cores in order to be able to get down to unlock that. So that's why I'm leaving that for a minute and I'm not worrying about it, just kind of postponing it. So that, that's how I figure out what researches I do. For the most part, I just research what's available. If I get to a point in research and I, I if, if there's a particular target I'm going for, I will go for that particular target. If there isn't a particular thing that I'm aiming to get, I just keep researching whatever's available so long as I've got resources to continue researching. Right, I need to bring these over. So far, that line there, I can just do that. And I can run these underground belts through without any problem. This one's going to have to drop down a little bit so that we can go through there. You know, of course, the other option is don't go across the top. Bring it down along and up, which would be more useful to us than bringing it in the top. So let's go and pick those back up again, shall we? We don't want to do these. Uh, that one, that one... 
and that one that's what we want to remove from that little line so we'll join those in there like that and then this one is going to go like that and we're going to run that straight down here and i need to just swivel it over by one and bring it down and then i can go underground belt right there and bring that one over and then you here are going to go that way. Now, I'm not going to run it along there because I may want to put another underground belt down here for whatever reason. I, Looking at the layout there, I'd say that's highly unlikely. But there is a small possibility that I will want to do that. So in order to avoid having any potential future problems, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to run this along here like this. So it's pretty much out of the way of everything else and i'll bring it back over to here and it's going to go up there this way i'm going to put you like that there and then i'm going to go with this one there oops and you're going to run up here like this. There, there. And I'm going to get rid of that one. And we're just going to have a meeting in the middle like that, I think. That is going to be absolutely spot on perfect. These are running through. They're building rapidly. And we're filling up an iron chest with the underground ones. So all I then got to do... I've got the belt now in place all the way through for that copper. So now I will go back. And I will actually set the copper coming out... And on to the bit over here where I set the original filter. So I need to drop this one down here. I've got my basic splitter. And I can drop that one onto there like that. So it's going to split both out. And then it's going to stop and it's going to filter. So it's just going to cut the copper in half. And I'm going to have that one traveling up. It's going to go onto the side of there. And that's going to go all the way up through here. And it's going to split out from there. And it's going to allow the construction parts to continue on and continue being used. Without any issues whatsoever. Right, let's dump those because they're going to get in my way. And those, I'll dump the cabling as well. So that's out of my way. Everything else is currently... Tickety boo. Excellent. So now I can just wait for the copper to turn up over this side. We want to put this one down right here. You are going to be a basic splitter. I need to make myself a couple more because I've run out. So I'll make 10 more for me. And then I will take that one. You know, the only way I'm going to do this is if I have three of these. Because that one right there needs to be a long inserter like that. And then I need to drop that power pole on there. Because that's where all of the ingredients are going to come from. I got one doing copper. I got one doing timber. And then I got that one doing the belts from all the way over there. Not the most efficient way of loading everything up. But it's fine. It's, it's not going to cause us any problems whatsoever. And then you can go in here. I can put an inserter onto there, and I can put a power pole onto there. And I have got another one set up and done. Excellent. Next, in order to be able to start doing our upgrades, we're going to want tin plates down here. I don't need anything else. Oh, yes, I do. I need grey circuit boards. We'll deal with that in a minute. Grey circuit boards we will deal with in a bit. I need to get the tin plates next. So we go over to our line over here, and we can filter out the tin plates, and we can start bringing those down. I think that we need to do some upgrades on here, but honestly, we're not going to have to worry about that until we upgrade the number of ore crushers we've got on this line. I don't think we need to worry about it too much. I think we're actually going to be alright with that. We can just kind of leave it as it is and, and let let them just carry on with how they're shuffling along at the moment. And bring you here. And I have to do what I normally do with this, I think. And I'm going to have to go there and then filter. We will filter out on here. I want tin plates there. Tin plates on there. That's going to come out that side. You're going to go there. Right. Definitely didn't want to do that. 
Right, you're going to go out there like that. Now, if I go down here a minute and I ditch those, because I don't want to be carting them around with me, we will then... Oh! As I've got a whole load of... No, I won't worry about them. I was thinking, if I've got a whole load of these, I'll go and put them down. But I'm not going to worry about putting them down at the moment. And I also can't make any more of them, because I don't have the electronics blocks materials on me. Let's not worry about that then. I do want to go here, and I want to put that one in there, like that. So it's going to filter those through, and then it's going to allow the tin plates to come out onto this side. I need the tin plates. I, I only need tin plates. I don't actually need anything other than tin plates. So if we go to there, and then I do... Actually, the underground belt needs to go back there like that, and then that one can come out there like that. Excellent. And then this underground belt can go down here like that and we can run along here yeah see i'm i'm encroaching on this space up here i think maybe i should have moved that down a little bit if i do want to change that out and expand this more we'll deal with that later we don't need to worry about it just yet so tin plates just leave a gap of two so that i can put something in underneath there should i ever need to and we'll run that down then I'm going to be needing to put stuff from that chest into something else. So I will do it like that. Get rid of that one. There. I can reach across there and then I can get those when I need to. Okay. We, we've, we've basically just future-proofed that little tiny, tiny little bit just there. And we're going to want, in order to be able to build these... Gear wheels, basic belts, and tin plates. So it's, it's nothing major on this. We haven't got, like, huge, huge amounts of things that we want to get. It's just... Right, now I can have 50 of them. I've only got 16 of those. It's because they're all being used up in here. I'll be wanting more of them to start with than I will of anything else. So we're, we're all right with how it's working out at the minute. So I have four of those right there. These four, I'm going to put them in a line over this side. Now, one, two, three, four, like that. Now, if I go into our construction thing over here, and I click on that one, and I go to the belts, and then I go and look at these fast transport belts right here, still need more gears. And this is how it's going to work all the way up through. I go there, express transport belts. Okay, that, he says, this is how it's going to work all the way through. There, I need roller chains and cobalt steel bearings. Uh, that's, yeah, okay, that's altogether different. Um, I was just wondering about expanding this out to the, the future levels. All we're going to need is just more of these gear wheels. Like, everything takes gear wheels. That's what we'll be using. So, I can bring this bit over. That one there needs gears under the basic belts. That one needs gears and the basic splitter, but it also needs the grey circuit boards just to be difficult. Uh, you need gears and basic belts. So, that's the only one that's going to need basic belts. And then after that, we're going to want gears. So, we'll bring the basic belts over here. And then we're going to have to filter them out after this point. So, we put a filter on there. And we jump into here like this. And we put a filter on there. And that's going to put that over the other side. That's going to allow me then to just take gear wheels from here. Nice and easy. That's what we want. And then I go to you. Fast transport belt in there. Oops. There we go. Right, and... How should I do this? You don't need a... No, you don't need anything on there, but you do need the tin plates. I think I'm going to bring the tin plates in on this side. Okay, I don't want those. Let's slow that down a minute. You're, you're going to... I'll bring you over here like this. Right? I'll uh, bring that one down there. And you can run along there. That's putting the tin belt on the wrong side, actually. Go there. That'll put the tin belt onto the correct... You know, actually, it doesn't matter. I, I don't need to worry about that. 
Reason being, we got configurable machines right here. So I can bring in there and out there. I can go in, in, and in, and then I can go out, out, and out on there. And the out ones, let me just go here a second and pick up that tin there so that it's out of the way. The ones that are going out, all we have to do is change the offset there. And then it will put it onto the correct side of the belt down here, which is quite a handy thing. So I can copy that and I can do it like that. And then this one will pick up the tin and it will bring it in. And then on the other side, we've got these that can be dropped down there and they can push those upwards. Nice and simple. One can go there, one can go there, one can go there, one can go there. So I am now building these. They are being loaded up. We've got two gears, one basic transport belt needed to load up each one of those. And I've now got the fast belts being put out onto there. Don't need them to go any further than that. And I'm now going to be wanting to use those almost exclusively. The next thing I will do then is if I go to Angel's Logistics, I will make a big storage chest right there. And we will use that one to start loading these into. Now, I don't have the option yet to filter these. No filters are available on those inserters. So we're going to have to, we still have to do our own filters on these. So we drop that one down onto there like that. I will look in here on this filter and I will, no, yes, I will filter those out. Actually, I want to do that the other way around. I'll filter them out like that. That's going to allow me to take the tin from there and go and use that. Except I don't need to because I'm already using the tin from there. I've already got it filtered out. The main reason that I want to do that is because I want to bring this belt down a little bit like this. And then I can put my chest, this new chest that I've just picked up. That one can drop down there. And I can put an inserter into that chest like that. And I can put power on there and that's now going to start loading his chest up which is fan schmabulous and what I could actually do is I could drop that power supply over there excuse me and I could drop that one down there and I could put an extra belt on here which will allow two of these to operate in full and that will allow these to speed up just a little bit and keep all of them running so there's that bit. Now, I want a factory over this side. So I don't want to go there. I want to bring that one out by one like that. And I'm going to do the same down here. And that one's going to go there. You are going to be making the underground belts there. And you are going to be making splitters right there. We're going to bring this one up here. I need gear wheels and I need tin. And then I need those in there. So I need to get the gear wheels... And I actually need them to join on the side of the tin over here. That would be optimal. So I want them to go onto the side of the tin up over there. So in order to be able to do that... Where are we going to do this? Because I don't want them going any further than there. Gear wheels need to come to this point and then stop. So we'll have to put a filter in there like that and put an output filter on here which is going to allow me to put these components in which is going to be them that's going to filter those out and that's going to stop them on that line right there so what i can then do is i've got those gear wheels already being produced i can drop well, unfortunately, that is all we've got time for. We will come back tomorrow and we will carry on with the bat challenge. Continue trying to make a thousand of absolutely everything. But whilst I take a little short break and try to catch me a door flirt, uh, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye. And see you later.